Hi guys, welcome back to my Dragon Ball Super episode reviews. Today's episode, episode 34, Pickle vs Frost, bet everything on the Makanko Sapo. So, uh, in the last episode, as you saw with the preview, it's Pickle vs Frost. Now, I for one was so, so excited for this. I was really excited for the reveal of what happened to Goku because it was kind of obvious it was going to get revealed what happened and um, you'll see later in this episode it is so shocking what happens I honestly didn't expect it I don't think anyone in the community expected it at all but we'll get there soon so the episode starts out with how the uh, last episode ended off with Goku getting kicked out of the ring by Frost after he got dizzy and kind of lost consciousness everyone kind of thought he died but um, he didn't so uh, Chi Chi being the wife he is she runs over to Goku to see if he's okay uh, Frost um, he walks over to Goku tells him ah, nice fight uh, I totally didn't fuck you over um, so that's that Goku takes Chi Chi back to the uh, spectators and he goes back over to Beerus and he is not happy whatsoever he is he's so so pissed he didn't expect Goku to get put out as easily as he did but I guess this kind of stuff happens it's just Akira Toriyama's way of doing things he's so unpredictable like in the past he's been unpredictable I'm trying to think of examples actually see now that I'm trying to think on the fly I can't think of anything but I could think on a normal day but I digress so after that, Goku, he's, Piccolo asks, do I have a chance of winning? Goku's like, nah, you, you got no chance, he's gonna absolutely destroy you. All you can really do is slow him down. I would be, I would feel so sorry to be Piccolo right now. But, um, Piccolo's like, okay, I guess I'll just slow him down. So, in the last episode, when Goku gets hit by, um, Frost, it kind of cuts to Jacko, and it looks as if he notices something and in this episode that's brought back again Jacko jumps over and sits next to Vegeta because he knows he can get a better look at the fight but Vegeta he knows that something is up he knows something's a mess as well but he can't really he can't think about it he can't really pinpoint what exactly it is that's up but Jacko can, he hasn't said it by this point in the episode because he probably, he's probably sitting there who's wanted to, to see if Frost does it again so he can confirm his suspicions. But the, the fight starts off and right off the bat Piccolo starts uh, charging the special beam cannon and he's making such a, a really hard effort not to make physical contact with Frost. So Frost, he is just, he is wailing on Piccolo's he blasts everywhere. He's not hitting him until uh, Piccolo starts going towards him and Frost, he catches him in the knee, which is actually kind of funny because uh, in the Frieza saga, Frieza did the exact same thing when he was in Form 3. He catches Piccolo right in the knee, which is, I guess, it's just a little bit of a, a, a throwback to the Frieza saga. So, Piccolo, he goes down to the ground and then he uses a multi-form technique which confuses Frost so, so much. So Frost, he just starts spinning around firing so many uh, key blasts and then Piccolo, he makes his special beam cannon bigger so he hides his face and then Frost, he's like, nah, I'm having none of this, I can't tell who's who and he just gets rid of all the clones. So Piccolo is only left. Frost, he starts trying to punch Piccolo, but Piccolo, he's blocking it with one hand, he's, that's actually so cool, I really liked how he blocked it all with one hand, but Piccolo, he gets punched in the gut, and he loses his concentration and his special beam cannon, so, Frost is like, okay, you've lost, um, since that move is gone, you've lost, I'm gonna win, then Piccolo uses something that actually we've not seen in such a long time, we haven't seen it since... I believe the last time we saw it was possibly the Cell Saga, it might even be earlier than that. But he uses his arm and he wraps it around Frost. 
Now, by this point, he starts charging his special beam cannon again, and he reveals that he he's a strategist. He was meaning to take that key blast to the knee so he could start all this. He thought of this in advance, which just shows how much of a smart fighter that Piccolo is. But, um, he starts charging his special beam cannon, and it shows Frost slipping his arm up, like, in between Piccolo's arm and him, and then Piccolo starts to feel the same sensation that Goku had. He, his vision starts to get blurry, he starts to stagger. So Frost slips out of his arm and he fires a key blast right through Piccolo, which ends the fight. So at the end of the fight, before everything kicks off, uh, Jacko stands up. He says, referee, check. Frost, there's something up with him, he is using an, a weapon, and um, yeah, he's using a weapon, there's a part on his body, I don't know if you noticed it in the episode if you've seen it, but he has a kind of black dot on his wrist, up there he has a needle, which is actually a part of his body, but the referee, he says, Frost, you're disqualified, this part of your body is modified, and it has poison, and it's revealed, much to my dismay, that Frost is a bad guy. He is a space pirate, or a mercenary, I guess. Oh, I was so upset. I wanted to see a good Frieza character. There's one actually in Dragon Ball Heroes. Uh, I think he's called Froze. He's a kind of rogue Frieza clansman. He's a good guy. But since that's Dragon Ball Heroes and it's not canon, I mean, it doesn't really count, I guess. But, um, Vados, she reveals that um, there were space pirates on a planet that fr both Frost and Kabe fought against. But what happens is, what, right, what Frost does is, he starts these wars with space pirates and then ends them, totally like a good guy, then buys the, the the land that's been torn up by war for a really cheap price and then he builds it back up and sells it off for profit so um yeah Frost is a bad guy I really hoped that he wasn't he, he was such a cool character like just imagine Frieza was a good guy That that's never gonna happen but just imagine if there's a guy like Frieza that was good there was so much potential for Frost, but this twist just came out of nowhere. No one expected it. I never expected it. I've seen YouTubers. They didn't expect it. I've, I've seriously thrown off. Like, this just throws the hat into the ring for so many possibilities. There's no way we can predict what's going to happen now. I had suspicions that Hip is evil, but at the end of this review, I'm going to explain why that's kind of changed, but um, Frost is disqualified for the tournament, so yeah, but, but, this is interesting, Vados says something that kind of sparked my interest, she says, you didn't instruct me to bring only those with good behaviour, now, this may possibly suggest that Frost is not the only guy who's a bad guy in Universe 6. Now that brings me to Hit. I still think he's bad, but I think it's kind of a different kind of bad. If I'll explain it soon, but oh, this is good. Vegeta, he's like, nah, you are staying in this tournament. Piccolo, get this guy is mine. He is so mine. He has right now on your screen. This is a picture of Vegeta's smile once he tells Frost that he's staying in the tournament. Oh, this is so oh, episode 35. This is going to be so good. He's going to absolutely destroy him. Vegeta's exact words are, I'll beat this bastard with my own two hands. Oh, it's so good. He's going to destroy Frost for all the things Frieza did to him and take revenge on Frost without killing him of course because that's a disqualification so he's finally gonna get some revenge for what Frieza did since he couldn't do it in the resurrection of F because Frieza destroyed the planet and Goku had to kill Frieza instead 
My oh god. There we go, the episode ends just before the fight that's going to happen in the next episode between Vegeta and Frost. So, episode 35 preview. Now, this is kind of a hard preview to kind of analyse because it, so much stuff happens in it. First thing that's kind of notable that's in it is it looks like either Frost is attacking Hit or Hit is attacking Frost. He uses a kind of he kind of turns the battlefield into ice. You're going to see a picture of it now. I don't know what this says. Maybe Hit is finally going rogue like I and many others predicted. But um, we see blood or kind of... I don't know. It's might be blood, might be poison. Come out of where the needle comes out of Frost's body. I guess it's blood because Frieza, he bled purple blood and that's the kind of the liquid that comes out of the hole is purple so I'm guessing he starts bleeding don't know if he stabbed himself it may have happened but um the Vegeta he has right at the final frames of the episode Vegeta has the same mentality as Goku not to go all out because he knows he's gonna let himself he's gonna get ahead of himself and he's gonna kill him so he only goes to Super Saiyan and it also kind of looks like there's a kind of dispute between Beerus and Shampa. They start, it looks like they're arguing, it looks like they're going to fight, which that we already know from earlier on in the arc, what kind of ramifications that can have. It can destroy the whole universe, like Vados and Whis said. But in all honesty, this is one of the best episodes yet. So much happens, so much gets revealed. If every episode is like this, I will be so happy because it's such a comprehensive, consistent episode. The animation's good, the shocks are good, the story's good, everything's great and I'm finally starting to get used to the, uh, the Japanese voice actors. Not so much Goku, I still don't really like his voice actress, but, you know, gonna have to deal with it. But, something I want to tell you before the episode ends. Next week, there's going to be no Dragon Ball Super episode comes out because there's a holiday in Japan of some sort. But, that means that episode 35 is going to come out on the 20th of March instead. But, there's a possibility that chapter 10 of the manga will be leaked. Which, I will be definitely sure to cover for you guys. Because if you remember, back to my first manga chapter week video, it ends off with Frost going final form. So I guess it's going to go up. It might even go past where um, Vegeta and Frost fight. I hope it doesn't, because I'd like to see that animated first, but I'm, it's probably going to because it's not that long after the Goku-Frost fight. But that's everything that happened in episode 34. Um, oh! before I end the episode actually I forgot to explain so what I think about Hit now is he might be a kind of assassin maybe who stops people from being bad or being good whoever but he might be kind of a mercenary as well because he could sell himself to the highest bidder so I guess it's, you can't really predict now with Frost to reveal that he's evil, you really cannot predict what's going to happen. I'm so, so excited for episode 35. It's going to be such a good episode. Vegeta's just going to, he's just going to smash Frost. But, with that out of the way, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Like the video. Comment what your thoughts are on this episode. What you think is going to happen in episode 35. And subscribe to join the Azure Army today. Thank you.